and the strength of our backs and the courage of our hearts. Gentlemen, hoist the colors. Hoist the colors. Hoist the colors. Hoist the colors! The wind's on our side, boys! That's all we need! Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at an approach to an original character design I completed a while back, but was another character I had fun with during Disney's revival of Pirates of the Caribbean. When the film hit the theaters, there were many opportunities to just draw pirates, and that I did. Watching the trilogy was very fun if it wasn't for the concept designs of all the characters plus their costume designs. Fun indeed was what I envisioned on screen. I then started with using all the references to draw and find a pose I like. I usually use a mechanical pencil as it's my favorite to sketch and define details with blue lead at 0.5 millimeters. Here's the final sketch when all the design elements were put together. Actually, here are both sketches. Soon, I came up with two different versions and actually went with a more simplistic one at first because I wanted to just draw a pirate grunt and not a main character that would actually run the show. This pirate had to look like a rookie but have the confidence of a pirate who would also do anything to loot and plunder. We will be using Photoshop in completing the design but you can use anything you like that gets a job done and it's actually more comfortable for you. Later on, I scanned the sketch into a PC digitally and changed the settings to black and white to clean up the lines. After this, I will import the newly black and white line sketch into Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop in this case and I went ahead and made a top layer for color to paint on top of the black and white line sketch. I will paint the colors I want as base colors on the characters so I won't divert too much uh, from what I originally wanted to paint. I will also change when needed and I will be adding shadows so I will know where my light source will be directed. After the main foundation, I will paint more in detail to solidify the entire character by giving it more volume with lights and shadows for the final look. 
That's it for this look at a very fun Pirate Grunt character design come to life. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all in the next upload. And everyone, please keep drawing and keep creating.